Friday, gang. Happy hump day to you. Today, we are still on Wonder Flavors candies. Today, we got three for you. We have black cherry jelly bean. Can I see? There you go. We have raspberry jelly bean. We had to re bottle. And we have the brand new that we're going to pop open on this stream, on this video here, Cotton Candy Jelly Bean from Wonder Flavors. All right, let's go down. Let's see what we can find out about these three flavors. And we'll let you finish your week. Let's go, everybody. All right, right off the bat, we have Black Cherry Jelly Bean. It has some warnings here. It may have uh, acetone, acetopropanol, contains... Perfural alcohol, which may cause cancer, 0.001%. Uh, very small. Now let's see what we have here as far as notes. Rin says, still working with this one so far. She's been very disappointed. It was hyped up by several people so far. Just getting medicinal cherry with strange bitter aftertaste. Uh, let's see, Hammer Jag, he gives it five stars. He says that he doesn't get any medicinal properties. So that's interesting. Little Miss says black cherry flavor at 3%, but definitely possible. But it definitely has possibilities. Nice, sweet, and will be great with other fruit and pastries. 4% would be better as a standalone. You can definitely, you definitely can taste the black cherry, not medicine at all. Uh, let's see. HC tests on a Bonza 0.14 dual coil. At 1%, 70, 30, no nick. Lick test sweet black cherry vape sweet. Black cherry slight candiness and slight grain a little weak. And after 19 days, uh, slightly more depth, a little increase in strength. The greenness has come through a bit more to give you an impression of a jelly bean shell. No medicinal off notes. I'd use this one as a single flavor at 3 for a cherry accent, 0.5 to 1. would be on the lower end. Uh, 1.75 for background notes. Let's see, Mark Turner, Mark Turner, no off-putting taste, no cough syrup. Holds up well over time. Session Drummer, this notes from May 7, 2019. You can see why many people like this one. Black cherry is quite good. It's sweet, a little sweet. Maybe a smidge tart, but not much. No medicinal perfume or otherwise off notes. Rather, but it was rather subdued. I don't know. How to make a jelly bean, how you make a jelly bean taste, but in this case it was candied. Throughout the test, I keep wishing the candy was lower, but the black cherry was, and the black cherry was higher. Overall, even a lighter flavor, I'm going to leave it at 7.5 to 10. Liam says, okay, someone copied Liam's notes, I'm assuming. I don't think Liam copied anybody else's. All right. Let's see some common uses. Used with super sweet, lemon lime soda, pooling, cherry extract, grenadine, fizzy sherbet, another uh, sweetener, sugar daddy, and where cherries, wonder flavor sweetener, and blue raspberry slush from One Stop DIY. Let's see the top ratings on this one. Not too much. Nevins has the top two spots. Nice blast, tango ice blast, red, blue, black cherry jelly bean, two and a half, blue raspberry slush from OSDIY, which is basically a one shot at 10%. Cherry fantasy from chefs at three. It's a 2018 mix, three years old. Cooling agent at one, busy share at 2.5 and 0.7 sweetener. There's no notes on that one. Using a cherry vanilla cola. Use it at 0.75 with USA Pleasure at 4. Holy Vanilla version 1 from DIY Flavor Shack at 0.6 and 0.6 on the sweetener. Looks, that looks like a nice cherry cola. He's made other ones since then. That one's over 3 years old. I see Jazzy Girl, chocolate covered strawberries. A pretty large mix going here. She uses it at 0.25. Uh, Julia Sue using it in cherry frozen yogurt. She uses it here at 1.5 with 2% acai, 
uh, cooling, fresh cream, fresh milk, and yogurt. So, yeah, we have frozen cherry yogurt. Makes sense. Uh, let's see. Anybody else that we see? McMite RN, almond cherry cheesecake squares, May 2019. Almond cookie, almond custard, black cherry jelly bean, graham cracker, marzipan. Yeah, black cherry jelly bean, 0.75 marzipan, and a half vanilla custard cheesecake, and yes, we cheesecake. Nice. Nice looking mix there. She's got a bunch of notes on it. You can check that out. All right, let's go to raspberry jelly bean now. This one, the median is 2%. Single flavor is 4%. Notes on this one, Rin, 1.5%, exactly what it says it is. Nice candy raspberry with a jelly bean texture accent. No unpleasant notes or aftertaste that can be present in similar profiles. Session Drummer, tested it July 2020, 3.5%. Being a fan of Wonder Flavors Black Cherry Jelly Bean, he had hopes for this one right out of the gate. It had a distinct medley taste. They feel like raspberry was something else. Much like a Luden's cough drop, but without the cough medicine. I couldn't really place the other flavor here. I'm starting to suspect it may be the jelly bean element. It wasn't off-putting, but this flavor... It wasn't off-putting, but this flavor, you will love it or hate it. It's not really either a natural raspberry or a candied raspberry, but something else. 3.5% expected it could mix lower. And if time permits, he made me remix it. Like Wonder Flavors corn powder, it wasn't... It was quite strong at this weight, but not overbearing. Click above mid-level sweetness. Close the jelly bean aspect. The rest of the notes. Commonly used with sweetener, strawberry gummy candy, cooling agent, sour blue raspberries, divine raspberry from Flavor Monks, boysenberry raspberry, cotton candy, jelly bean. 17 recipes already. The flavor hasn't even been out a week yet. Uh, sweetness from Flavora. Super uh, sweet raspberry from TFA and pineapple candy from Wonder Flavors. Top rated mix. Tam from 2020. One, two, three, two, love, repeat. Divine raspberry from Flavor Monks at two. Use the raspberry jelly bean at one. And red chew candy from Big Train at three. Nice little three, two, one there. Uh, let's see, the CXXXP Shake and Vape, a new and improved sour raspberry lemonade inspired by V Energy, September 2020. Use cooling agent, use raspberry from Salubarome, Lemons Kick, Pink Lemonade Liquid Born, use a raspberry jelly bean one and a quarter with some raspberry apples, sour lemon, and sweetener. Uh, Pippa uses it. In raspberry fudge scoop, January of this year. Chocolate fudge brownie at a quarter. Frosting at one from Flavor. Nanaimo bar from Wonder Flavors at one. She uses raspberry jelly bean 1.5. We have vanilla ice cream liquid barn at four, which is about the medium for that. And white fudge at one. The only 14 public and 200 private. Sam uses it. Just used it a week ago for mix and vixens. He had 27 fish at three, natural raspberry SSA at one, raspberry jelly bean at one, at one sour gummy candy at two and a half, strawberry gummy candy at four, and then 0.8 on the sweetener. Uh, he also used, used it this week in citrus be circus bean. He used a cotton candy jelly bean, raspberry jelly bean at one, the blueberry gummy candy at two. And sweetener at 0.3. So now let's go over here to the new flavor, cotton candy jelly bean, which this one is getting a lot of hype and a lot of praise. Uh, average mix is 1.5. Single flavor is 3. So far, there's only two sets of notes for it. Michelle Hughes says buy it immediately. This flavor at 3% was ultimate sweet jelly bean base, and you can build any jelly bean flavor around it. What Nevin says, leg legitimately what it says on the tin, 
I never saw a tin, but a cotton candy flavored jelly bean. Highly versatile. Use this anywhere you need a touch of caramel with a candy recipe. Use it with a multi milk cream mixture for a panna cotta. Use it with a touch of marshmallow for a taffy. Use this with fruit for a jelly candy or jelly bean of your choosing. Interesting. All right, already marshmallow candy is being, it's being used in 34 mixes. Sweetener, raspberry jelly bean, more sweetener, pineapple candy, sweet tangerine, the thick French vanilla, which is a new one, the cookie dough, which is new, salted caramel, which is new, and the vanilla gelato is all new. Five recipes. Moon Charmed. Let's see, Michelle's got two, Nevins has two, and Sam has one already, 62 private. Let's check out Moon Charmed. You got salted caramel, which is no, oh, these are all new flavors. You got 0.8, cookie dough at two, cotton candy jelly bean 1.2, French vanilla at one, sweetener at 0.5, and vanilla gelato at three. Nice some artwork there. Let's see, she also as it in a margarita jelly bean, which she actually asked me to mix this. I still have to do that. She used it two uh, with the margarita at two and sweetener at a half. Makes total sense. Uh, let's see, we talked about Sam already used with circus bean. Nevin's Nick Chet, Nick's taffy base. Using it just 1.5 with candy marshmallow at one. And used it in the chew it fruit salad. It's got it at 1.5, marshmallow candy at 1, pineapple candy at 1, raspberry jelly bean 1.5, sweetener at 0.2, and sweet tangerine at a quarter of a percent. And that's all we got for those three flavors. Let's give a sniff on this one. Take the uh, purple tape off, purple ceiling tape. Keep it all protected in shipping so we don't lose any of it. Trash. Give it a shake. Give it a sniff. Oh yeah, definitely smell cotton candy. That's for darn sure. It smell good. I'm looking forward to using it in a mix. Alrighty, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day, everybody.